So a lot of you guys have been asking me how to introduce books and stories to your babies. So today's tips and tricks, we are going to talk all about storytelling, books, uh, what are the things that you can do, what are the things that you can watch out for. Uh, so that's what we'll cover today. Now, storytelling and book reading, right? They come in two ways. The first way is when you are reading to your baby. So your baby's job is only to actively listen and maybe look at the books that you're reading from. The other way is when your baby starts to actually read from the book, right? So of course, that's a more advanced thing that happens after your baby has gone through uh, reading words and then sentences, phrases, and then of course, uh, the books, right? So today we will be focusing on the first part, which is when you are reading to your baby and your baby is just listening and uh, developing their language skills, their vocabulary, as well as looking at some nice pictures on the books. Okay guys, so if you're ready, let's get started on the tips and tricks. So the first thing that we want to talk about is what kind of books should you select to read to your young baby, maybe even zero to two year old baby, right? What you want to do is you want to select books with hard pages. So the hardbound books, board books, of pages that are generally uh, sturdy and not easy to tear because your baby will of course get curious and they might try and tear off the pages, right? That's the first thing. Second thing what you also want to do is you want to select books which are bright and colorful because of course that will attract your baby's attention and they'll be more interested and more curious to know what's in the book. The third thing that you want to do is to also select books which have short sentences. So maybe about five to six words each and not long paragraphs because it's difficult for your baby to concentrate and pay attention to long sentences and make sense of it, right? The next thing that you want to keep in mind is uh, to have books which are very descriptive, right? So it could be descriptive in a visual sense where it's talking about colors and shapes, sizes, that kind of thing. Or it can also be descriptive from an emotional point of view. So somebody is feeling sad, somebody is feeling happy, somebody is excited because this also allows for you to be animated when you are reading to your baby, which makes it even more interesting for your baby. And my last tip in selecting your book is also to select books that are have a little bit of a sense of realism, right? So. Uh, at that age, at the age of zero to two, especially, we don't want to read books where a pig is flying or an elephant is talking because it just confuses the baby as they become older because then they start to believe that these things are real. What we want to do is we want to keep it real. We want to focus on stories which have a sense of realism where there are humans talking, humans exploring. And as they become slightly older and they understand that animals cannot really talk and they, elephants cannot really fly, then it is okay to have those kind of stories as well because then it's actually funny for your baby to uh, engage in those kind of stories. So I hope that makes sense. That's my first tip on how to actually choose what kind of storybooks to start reading for your baby, right? Now let's move on to tip number two. Our tip number two is to keep each book reading session short and succinct, right? So we don't want to read to our babies for five minutes, 10 minutes because they cannot focus their attention for so long. So even if you're reading for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, even a minute, right? That is absolutely okay. And it of course depends on your baby's age. So if your baby is very young, maybe about three to four months of age, you would be able to read to them only for 30 seconds. If your baby is slightly older, maybe one and a half to two years of age, they could probably take in more longer minutes of uh, story reading uh, for them, right? So keep the lesson short and succinct as per your baby's age and ability, but you don't want to bore them and you don't want to tire them out either. Our tip number three is keep your sessions fresh. What does this mean? This means that we don't want you to repeat the same book again and again and again, right? your baby will get bored and tired of listening to the same story if you do it uh, too much and if you overdo it. Think about it. Even if you're watching your favorite movie or even if you're reading your favorite novel or story, how many times can you do it again and again? You can't, right? You will get bored, you will get tired and it will not be as fun anymore. It's the same with our babies. We don't want to feed them the same story, the same book 
over and over again because baby books are small because the stories are short we think that it just got over so quickly so let's go over it again and we repeat the same story multiple times sometimes in the same session itself right that's usually not a good idea sometimes your babies might want you to repeat it but usually your baby will get bored if you overdo it so our advice here our tip here is to keep it fresh by introducing new books from time to time tip number 4 use clear pronunciation what does this mean so sometimes we have a tendency to use baby speak right baby language baby pronunciation we don't want you to do that we want you to use clear pronunciation of each word that you speak in your baby's book because otherwise it becomes very difficult for your baby to learn the wrong pronunciation and then unlearn it later as they grow older so from the very beginning we want them to learn the absolute correct pronunciation no baby speak no baby pronunciation when you are doing this activity tip number 5 as you are doing the book reading activity with your baby whenever you are reading to them make sure that you are looking into the eye of the baby and they are able to observe your face observe your lip movements this is super important because it helps your baby develop vocabulary as well as understand the pronunciation and also over time develop language skills on how to speak the words that you are speaking to them of course you cannot read the book and look at them at the same time but what we would want you to do is to read it from the book and then say it out loud as you are looking at them i to i so that they can observe and notice your lip movements on how each of the words are being formed as you speak it tip number 6 allow your baby to turn the pages if they want to right so if your baby is slightly older if they have the ability if you think that they will be able to turn the pages especially if you are using board books allow them to do that it will make them feel like they are part of the process they are involved in the book reading activity b it will also develop their finger muscles and their finger skills right so allow them to turn the pages allow them to experience the curiosity of what comes on the next page as well right so that's our tip number 6 and let's move on to the last tip of the day tip number 7 use lots of gestures and expressions as you are reading your book to your baby right so we told you to use books which have a lot of a uh, descriptive language like visuals and emotions whenever you are coming across those words be animated be uh, use gestures describe to your baby how it really feels to be excited to be happy to be sad to be angry right and that will make it even more interesting for your baby and they will start connecting what the word means to the actual gesture that you are trying to show it to them right so those are my seven tips and tricks for the book reading activity for your baby i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do like the video and please share it with a friend that you think it would be useful for please also share your comments we love reading them hope you guys enjoyed this tip today and stay tuned for more such tips do subscribe to our channel raising superstars and we will be bringing you lots and lots of tips and tricks as well as information about early learning development and how to raise your baby to a lifetime of health wealth and happiness stay tuned guys take care and i will see you again soon all the best